So Campbell's in a good spot where you know he's, he's likely to get nailed. Uh, a good rule of thumb when you go fishing, um, especially if you're going somewhere for a couple of days, uh, make sure that your your uh, your tackle and your um, and your gear is in top shape. So don't go with half spool reels and you know line that's so old that you know it'll just break if you get a decent sort of a, a tug on it. Um, get it properly sort of like spooled up from from word go. You don't have to go out and use special expensive braid or get expensive um, line classes on or whatever. Just good old four or six pound pro line from your old complete angler or your, your tackle shop is more than enough. One of the methods we're, going, we're using and uh, we're going to show you during the course of this, this program is that um, when we get a touch here, because the fish are very finicky and all they need to do is feel a bit of weight or feel something's not quite right and they'll just drop that bait and they'll swim away and then they might come back if you still leave your line in there 10 or 15 minutes later and revisit it or not at all. So what I do is when we get a touch, as long as it's a decent touch, a little bit of a, a pull on the rod and a little bit of a ring on the bell is I'll open the bail arm up and I'll let the line drift off the spool naturally and that way the fish has got no resistance whatsoever so if it does pick it up in its mouth and wants to mouth it a bit and uh, see how it feels or whatever then it can do that and it doesn't uh, feel that something's wrong so he'll just naturally just take it along and go for a bit of a bit of a cruise um, until he gets a bit of a taste and if he likes what he's, what he's uh, having a bit of a mouth off He'll, uh, he'll swallow it. As soon as he swallows it, that line will start to really, really drift out there. And it's really when you've got a consistent flow of line going out there that all you really want to do, I mean, there's no point doing it now because we've got nothing on, but all you want to do is then just hold the rod up, click over the bail arm, and just hold it steady. And as the fish drifts, dr drags out, it'll naturally set the hook, as opposed to you sitting there going, oh, let's reel, 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 reel. That's not going to do anything because you know that the fish is there the question is, has the fish um, actually been hooked in the, in the mouth or, you know, swallowed it down into his stomach? Um, we're using a little bit more weight here and we've actually cast it out probably about 25 feet. Um, an important rule of thumb when going freshwater fishing, and even salt for that matter, is that don't immediately look at the water and say, oh, look, there's 60 feet of water in front of me. What I've got to do is I've got to get it smacking in the middle. That's not where the fish are. The fish are always feeding, you know, where the food sources are. And the food sources are being dragged by the natural flow of the current down the river. And hopefully if you can get your line to sit in that lie, and as long as, as I said, they're stimulated, you will, you will get action on it. Um, conditions for fishing, for freshwater, freshwater fishing um, is absolutely crucial. You really want to try to fish a rising barometer. Right now, it's cold. You know, it's it's the early morning. It's brisk, and the fish are going to be a bit skittish, in my opinion. They're going to wait a little bit longer until you know um, the system warms up a bit, and uh, and you know the whole thing kind of you know kicks into gear. So it, it, it doesn't help if it's if if you're going to go out there and fish in very, very cold weather because ultimately the metabolism of the fish isn't going to, you know, really, really be conducive to, to wanting to feed and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to deceive these fish and say, yeah, we've got some food for you, come along, have a look at it and of course we've embedded that with a hook properly and hopefully we'll, we'll get a hook up. We're fishing for browns and uh, there are also some nice rainbows in here. Um, average size is about a pound and a half to two but they are growing in here up to f four and six pound. Um, I've caught quite a few of both of those. So um, with any luck, we'll see how we go. Um, the other thing, of course, is that as it gets warmer, you just want to get out of here and you want to hit a river. You need to get into oxygenated water. You need to get into a, 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 an environment where things are moving. Um, and um, heat in these sorts of circumstances isn't really, really going to help you much. All right. Cheers, dudes.